Thanks to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this update. They've got everything you need to stay smooth, clean, and nice smelling. Ooh, and they got some great new toothpaste too. Get their starter set for just $5 at dollarshaveclub.com slash the no. Welcome to The Know, I'm Brian. We've got nominees for Game of the Year, courtesy of the Game Awards, which is probably the closest thing that video games have to an Oscar. And without further ado, the nominees for Game of the Year are God of War, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Monster Hunter World, Red Dead Redemption 2, Marvel Spider-Man, and in a surprise, the indie platformer Celeste. Very well-deserved, great game. Also really great soundtrack. Very solid lineup all around. I'm bummed that Dragon Quest XI didn't make that list, but it did get a nomination for Best RPG. You can see the nominees in other categories. There are a lot of others, and you can vote at thegameawards.com. The awards show will be held next month on December 8th. I'm excited. It's been a great year for games. Times are good over at THQ Nordic. Gamesindustry.biz reports that the developer saw its net sales increase by more than 1,400% over the last quarter. That's insane. It's thanks to its purchase of a couple studios, Coke Media and Deep Silver, and the sales of the racing game Dakar 18 and the RPG Pathfinder Kingmaker. Also performing well were Titan Quest and Red Faction Guerrilla Remastered. That is a great game, The Destructible Environments. If you like them, you have to check out that game. During the quarter, THQ Nordic published five games that it made, as well as nine from other studios. And it looks like THQ is using that money to purchase even more studios. It announced that it has bought developer Coffee Stain, great name, which made Goat Simulator, even better name, as well as Bugbear Entertainment that made Wreckfest. THQ Nordic founder and CEO Lars Wingefors said they've got a total of 55 games in development across all their studios. Only 20 of those have been announced, so they're working on a lot of stuff. He said, we are patiently working on adding more great companies into the group, both developers and publishers. THQ Nordic has really come back hard, man. They're good for them. Battlefield 5 reviews are coming in, so let's see what the critics have to say. It's currently got an 84 on Metacritic and an 82 on Open Critic. Seems to put it in the decent to good category. Polygon called it one of the fastest military shooters to be released in years, adding, the experience left me breathless at times. After a full weekend of play, all I want is more. But it did note that there are some performance issues with frame rate drops, as well as some balance problems. Anti-air units are apparently very weak to bombers. Fighter planes feel underpowered. Not to mention that a lot of its modes like Firestorm will not be out until next year. Polygon added, to buy into Battlefield 5 in 2018 is to accept a number of flaws and compromises. With multiple game modes still in development, including a Battle Royale mode that's still months from being available, Battlefield 5 is a work in progress. US Gamer really liked it. They said Battlefield 5 is exactly the game you're expecting it to be for better or for worse. It's a solid game where the shooting feels heavy and realistic with varying recoil patterns for different weapons in the hands of different soldiers but it also doesn't necessarily have any tricks up its sleeves. The game is has a bit of a complicated release schedule. It's already available for some PC and Xbox One players. The deluxe editions release tomorrow for everyone, and the standard edition releases next week, November 20th. So it's really staggered to say the least. A new addition for Assassin's Creed Odyssey brings a new mythological villain for you to battle. In a tweet, the game's official account showed off a shot of Sterops the Cyclops saying, witnesses swore they'd seen him, the lightning bringer, on a rampage around the Greek world. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like people were too impressed. Kotaku called the fight a letdown, saying that it wasn't much of a challenge compared to other mythological encounters and added that it felt like they just plopped a Cyclops in a cave without any context or buildup. And fans almost immediately started responding on Twitter with screenshots of their kills, including one fan who had some sweet ass armor that I didn't even know existed in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. But hey, you know what? More content is always good. Maybe just make them a little bit harder. Looks like Microsoft has finally given Xbox Game Pass subscribers what they want, the ability to preload games. Xbox corporate VP Mike Ybarra tweeted yesterday, one of the biggest asks we've had for Xbox Game Pass was to allow preload so you can download and be ready the second launch happens. It's available now and starts with Crackdown 3 on Xbox and Windows. He was also asked if upcoming releases like Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden will have the feature. He responded, yeah, it will work. So it looks 
like. It's available right now. Definitely good news for Game Pass subscribers. We got a trailer for the next DLC for Marvel Spider-Man. It's called Turf Wars, and it brings in the gang leader Hammerhead and his infused skull. In a blog post, Insomniac wrote, first appearing in the 1970s via the pages of Amazing Spider-Man comic book, Hammerhead has declared war against the other dons of the Magia and are using equipment left by Sable International during its occupation of Marvel's New York. Spider-Man and Yuri Watanabe will have to team up to put an end to the violence that has erupted in the streets of the city. It's out November 20th, oh, same day as Battlefield 5. You got a lot of shit to play. And of course, it will feature three new Spidey suits, including the classic Iron Spider suit from the comics, the Spider Armor Mark I, and the Spider Clan suit from the Marvel Mangaverse comics. That's pretty cool. The DLC costs $10, or you can get all three, including the already released The Heist, for 25 bucks. All right, some entertainment news to finish on. The Star Wars TV series, The Mandalorian, just found its lead actor. Variety reports that Pedro Pascal, who you might remember as Prince Oberon in Game of Thrones, or Javier Pena in Narcos, will be the lead in the Bounty Hunter series that takes place after the fall of the Empire, but before the First Order arrives on the scene. Now, we don't have a ton of details on the plot yet, we do know that the series will follow a lone gunfighter in the outer reaches of the galaxy. It's being written by Jon Favreau, and Disney has said that Dave Filoni, who worked on Star Wars The Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels, will direct the first episode. The series is currently shooting. It will premiere on Disney's new streaming service, Disney Plus, which is out next year. All right. That is all the news we got for Roundup today. Let us know what you think about all these stories down in the comments below. From all your news from every corner of the internet, like this video, subscribe to The No, hit up our website, theno.tv. See you around. Shout out to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this update. Dollar Shave Club has gone way beyond razors, not just razors anymore. Now they got everything from hair products to body cleanser, skincare. You are going to smell great and look good. And they've also got this new program where they automatically keep you stocked up on the products you use. You determine what you want and when you want it, it shows up right at your door from once a month to every six months. One thing I'm super into is their toothpaste. I get one shipped pretty regularly now. I never have to worry about toothpaste again. I don't even have to think about toothpaste and my mouth feels super clean now. I didn't think peppermint could last this long. Man, I feel great. I'm tasting it right now while I'm reading this. It's awesome. Right now, you can get ready with an amazing deal on any one of their starter sets. Head over to dollarshaveclub.com slash the no to pick up your own starter set for just $5. What a deal. After that starter set, products ship at regular price. And make sure you check out their new video too. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash the no, dollarshaveclub.com slash the no.